Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Stay Too Quiet. Uh, some of you may know me as Shane. Um, uh, the time of this video is, uh, that clock is wrong on my PC. It's 2.03 a.m. Oh no, it's not wrong. It used to be wrong, but <laughs> it's not anymore. Uh, based off the title of this video, uh, I'm going to talk about my experience um, inside of hospitals. Um, specifically my experience in the hospital last year um i want to talk about this subject and i thought i would go ahead and upload this so it can relate to some people going through something um whether it's a relationship or um just terrible uh mental health or uh anything of those lines if you're going through it right now you're not alone <laughs> i know what it feels like i've been through it it sucks so I'm here to talk about it because uh, I feel like not a lot of people go ahead and open up about this because they're very scared to and that's very understandable um, but I felt like I could talk about it just so I can probably connect with somebody that is uh, going through something right now um, so basically last year I was with this girl uh, she had red hair. Um, I thought she was the love of my life. I thought that was the woman I was going to marry one day. I thought that was the woman I was going to buy a house with. I thought that was the woman that's going to have my kids. I thought that I found my match. You know, I thought there was nothing better than her. Um, her name started with a K. I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to disclose her name. Um, but if you were very close in my life, if you're like one of my friends, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Um, basically, me and her were together for about three months. Um, we created such a great bond within those three months. Um, and then, as we got to know each other, um, my emotions got the better of me we would get in constant arguments we would uh fight over small things um we uh we just couldn't uh, get along and uh, eventually she left me um and it was hard um on me um it caused me uh basically to stop uh eating showering getting out of bed I would just lay in bed all day um, unless I had to go to the bathroom or something like that um, basically uh, while we were together uh, I was going through I was going through some shit I was crying every day because I missed her and everything and um, I was having delusions um, I think this was because of the amount of ashwagandha I was taking. I was really into supplements and really into working out last year. Um, basically, uh, I would take these ashwagandha uh, pills um, and they were 600 milligrams a piece and I would take, uh, they were, I would take five of them. So that's 3000 milligrams of uh, ashwagandha. So basically like I was, I was just trying, I was just trying to get my dick big. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just I was just trying to get my dick big you know what I mean and um I was taking 3,000 milligrams a day I was taking five capsules a day I I, I I wasn't thinking straight you know I was just like I want a big dick <laughs> you know what I mean um and like uh I went to this place uh in Hopkinsville you guys might know it it's called uh Cumberland Hall I went there twice. Um, the first time I went, I was uh, misdiagnosed with uh, schizophrenia, and uh, they uh, put me on a medication called Abilify. And with Abilify, um, it made me cry all the time. I remember I was in uh, the kitchen with my mom, and um, she made me pancakes in the morning. We were going to uh, this thing called Recovery Walk uh, in Paducah, Kentucky. Um, but before, but before we went, uh, we live in Murray, so it's about two towns over. So before we went to, um, the recovery walk, she made me pancakes. This was about last year, I would say 
April or May. Um, basically, I was crying because I couldn't finish a fucking pancake. Um, <laughs> I was crying, and I was like, Mom, I'm sorry, I can't finish the pancake. Um, I don't know why I was crying. Uh, it must have been the medication I was on. Uh, I was just crying, and I was having thoughts of hurting my family and shit. And when I told my mom that, uh, she was like, she was like, we're going to Cumberland Hall again. And I'm like, all right. I didn't want to go to Cumberland Hall, but I, I knew that if I wanted to have a place to live and wanted a place to stay, I had to go to Cumberland Hall. And uh, so I went to Cumberland Hall the second time, and uh, I was really nervous to go back home because I thought something was going to happen. I thought I was going to fuck up. And um, I, I was like scratching my head like the last day I was in Cumberland Hall the last day um, I was just scr scratching my head because I was nervous because I thought they were going to send me to another facility I mean even though they had my discharge papers right in front of me and I signed them I still thought I was going to another facility for some reason I just couldn't trust anybody that said I was going home for some reason I was just so delusional so nervous so anxious um, and basically um, I got out of Cumberland Hall I start talking to Kay. We're just going to call her Kay again. And um, basically, um, you know, we're talking, right? And um, eventually, I just get angry um, at her. And uh, if she's watching this, which she probably isn't, if she's watching, I wish nothing but the best for her, honestly. And I'm sorry for everything I put her through, honestly. I was not in the right state of mind. I just turned 18. I was still learning about life and how to love and how to be reliable, how to be faithful, how to be a, a better man, you know, uh, a young man at that. Um, but um, I got a, I got a, I got out of Cumberland Hall, um, and I would say about a month later, I stopped eating completely. Um, and then a couple weeks go by, I'm not eating. Um, I begin to start throwing up every single day. Like I would have a bucket in my room and I would puke my fucking guts out. Right. Um, basically, um, I would not eat for, uh, for days, weeks, months. I remember one time, I remember one time I ate and, uh, it was a, uh, it was like this little yogurt, and it had like blueberries in it, and um, like 25 minutes later, I'm I'm puking that shit, <laughs> I'm puking it, and um, I just uh, I just I was like, I'm either gonna die, and I gotta eat something, and this is what it's gotta be, and. <laughs> Um, I did not want to eat the yogurt. I'm not a big yogurt guy, but, um, I ate it and I fucking puked, but I fast forwarded a little bit. That was, a, that was around November when I ate, when I ate that. Let's backtrack to, uh, um, I would say like June, June of 2022. Um, I, I still was trying to contact her, um. I felt like my life was going to go to shit. I told her every day, like, I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I feel like I'm going to kill myself um, because I'm so obsessed with you. Um, that's how much I, I was in love with her. Like, it was crazy. And, like, um, I, I wanted to commit suicide so badly. Um, I wanted to give up on life. Um, but I did not have the courage to do it. I remember... My mom was at work. I was sitting in the bathtub with a knife in my hand, and I told myself, I'm going to slip my wrist. I told myself, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I just couldn't do it. And I was I was just insanely depressed. Uh, I, was, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life anymore. I feel like there's no point in my life without her. Uh, she was my only happiness. It was the only thing that brought me joy. Um, so... I was like, this is it, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna do it, and I just couldn't do it, so then I resulted into not eating, 
because I knew I couldn't kill myself. So I just gave up on life and I was like, one day I'm going to die and I'm going to be happy uh, when I die because I see no point in life anymore because I, I basically made that girl my life. I made K my life. Everything was about K. I had no other social life. Um, there were times when me and me and Kay would get into arguments, and she had a best friend um, that lived with her, and her best friend would tell me to kill myself. Um, you know, I mean, I don't, I, I, I honestly don't blame her because I was a douchebag. I was a piece of shit. I told. I told her I was gonna beat the fuck out of her. I told her I told her I told her all this stupid shit that I regret and um I was losing my mind, I was losing my sanity, I was like, I'll, I'll beat the fuck out of you. Because um, she would threaten to bring up bring a bunch of guys over to my house and fucking and fucking jump me or whatever or, or whatever and uh I was just like, I'll beat the fuck out of you. I'll do this. I'll do that. But let me just make one thing straight. I'll, I'll never put my hands on a woman. Um, if I ever put my hands on a woman, I probably will turn myself in and spend the rest of my life in jail. Um, I will. I would never put my hands on a woman. I have whenever I was younger. I was dumb. Um, I, I, I don't know why I did it. Um, I grew up as a hood rat in the trailer park, so I was doing a lot of stupid shit. Uh, I shouldn't have been doing, but, uh, I was like in fourth grade whenever I hit this woman, <laughs> and I feel so bad about it. Uh, I feel terrible about what I did, and, um, back to the reason of this video, not me hitting some girl in fourth grade, um, <laughs> So, um, after she told me to kill myself, um, I, uh, called her, I called her pretending that I was on the highway, um, and I was about to crash my car into a semi, and I said, if you don't pick up the phone, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm gonna end it, <laughs> and she called me, and she was like, what are you doing, and I'm just like, uh, -uh. I'm done. I'm done. I don't. I don't want to live anymore. I. I don't want. I don't want anything to do with life anymore because you're not in it. And um, it hurt me because uh, I would stalk her TikTok, like, and she would make TikToks about me and shit like that. And um, you know, I mean, it would make me upset that she would make TikTok about me. Uh, It'd make me super insecure of myself. It'd make me um, angry. It would make me not feel like I was a, I was a good boyfriend, you know. Um, I was in love with this woman, and to hear her say say the things about me on TikTok uh, really hurt my feelings. Uh, but she probably didn't care about my feelings at the time. She probably was like. She always used to say, it's hot girl summer, and I'm going to do my thing, and all this other shit. Um, I still remember um, her dog, her dog's name. I still remember the day we got together. I still remember her birthday. I still remember um, her favorite color. I still remember her favorite food. I still remember... Um, I still remember how she wanted to have a house and two kids, and... A bunch of puppy dogs and a, bu a bunch of chickens and a big old farm and all this other shit. Um, I remember it all. Um, so basically, it's about August of 2022. Um, I give up contacting her because uh, she, at this time, she has a new boyfriend during this time I think they're still together because uh, I texted her like two months ago um, and I and I just asked her how she's doing um, and like she was like stop talking to me stop trying to get in contact with me and I'm, 
uh, and, and I was just out of my mind. So I was, I just couldn't help it. But August of 2022, I weigh about 160 pounds. Um, I completely lost all of my weight, all of the progress I gained in the gym. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped showering. I stopped eating. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've been having a bad cough recently. I think it's because I've been smoking too much. But, um, August of 2022, I weigh about 160 pounds. I'm skinny as shit. Looks like I've been doing meth. Um, uh, <laughs> I've never done meth in my life. Uh, but my dad has. Uh, he's in jail right now for, uh, assaulting somebody. <laughs> I always had that constant fear because of my last name, uh, I would always go to jail because my dad uh, uh, gave me a bad representation. Whenever I grew up with him, he would always scream. Um, when he was drunk, he used to beat me. Um, when I was 15, he sexually assaulted me. And uh, I'm currently dealing with that case right now. Um, um, because uh, I didn't have the courage to tell anybody. Because uh, I was scared. And when I... When I got sexually assaulted by my dad, um, I started smoking weed, and uh, I was in high school, and my my buddy, my cousin, he introduced me to it, and we would get high almost every single day. Um, I loved it. I, I loved it, and um, I would just, I would just get high and forget all about my trauma and everything. But uh, back to the story. September of 2022, um, I'm still making, well, I'm not making, but um, I'm still releasing music that I made months ago because I was living with my mom and my, my setup was at my grandma's. And um, I, uh, I, uh, I had songs on my phone. That I would still release to this day. If y'all, if y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know I make music. You know, y'all know that. But um, I deleted all my songs, um, which I which I regret, uh, because I was depressed and my girl, my girlfriend at the time, uh, Kay, she was very upset that I deleted all my songs. I was just depressed. I didn't feel like doing anything, and um, I just uh. I just felt, I just felt like a failure, you know, uh, because like this girl was honestly the woman of my dreams. Um, and I feel like I let her down as a man and I feel like I let myself down as a man. I feel like I let my family down as a man because I couldn't, uh, provide the life that she wanted. I couldn't do, um, what she wanted me to do. Um, not in a controlling situation, but uh, more of like just be there for her, you know. Um, I still love her to this day, and I hope that she's doing absolutely fantastic. And I hope that she's still working a job, still getting money, still with whatever dude she is. I have nothing but nice things to say about her. Uh, in the past, I didn't, but uh, I do now because I, I learned from that situation. If uh, if there was a time and a place and something happened where she would want to get back together with me, I doubt she ever will. After how our situation turned out, if that ever happened happened again, I would I would go back to her in a heartbeat because she was the best thing that ever happened in my life. Um, I loved her. I loved her dearly. Um, I, I fought with her multiple times, but I, uh, I always apologize at the end of the day, um, because I knew I was in the wrong. Um, Where was I? September of 2022. Uh, I barely even remember September of 2022. Uh, I was always lightheaded. 
my stomach hurt because I wasn't eating. I was puking. I felt like shit. And um, I'm just like sitting here because I haven't ate in months by the time it's September, and I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking, like God, why haven't haven't you let me die yet? <laughs> I'm like, why haven't I died? Why am I still on this earth? I don't want to be here anymore. I fucking hate it here. Um, and I knew that if I died, um, my family would be very upset. Um, all of my friends, which I barely have any, would be upset. Um, everybody in my life would, would, um, uh, wonder as to why I would, uh, treat myself this way um <sighs> fuck <clears throat> getting a little emotional um October October was the worst fucking month of my life I looked at my mom I told her I, I need to go to a hospital and she was like, what do you mean by hospital? Because I, cause I've been to the mental hospital, and she thought that's what I meant. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm physically ill. I need to go to the hospital. She's like, you're not going to the hospital. And I'm just sitting there like, why won't you let me go to the hospital? I'm trying to save my life at this point because I just want to live. I want, I, I want to live, you know what I mean? And um, I'm just sitting there. And, um, she's like, here, go lay back in bed. You'll be all right. And, um, she made my bed for me. And then she took me in. <laughs> Y'all want to laugh at that? Y'all can go ahead. My mom's tucking me in bed, you know, whatever. As I'm an 18-year-old about to be 19, my mom tucked me in bed. She doesn't do that often, but she did it that time, you know. Um, basically, um... I go, I go in my bed, I used to wake up every single day, and uh, it was cold as shit, right, I would go to the heater, um, in my living room, there would be like a, there would be like a chair right there, like a little, a big, I should say big, <laughs> a big chair, I would sit there, it was cold as shit, it was almost winter time, and uh, there, the heater would come on, and I would, I would love being in that heater every single day. I would go there, I would sit down, but it would take me forever to go sit down there. I'm talking, like I would walk like this, like I was, I felt like I was gonna fall on my ass every single day. Um, I remember one time I was peeing um, in a downstairs basement bathroom. And um, I blacked out completely. I fell to the ground. I was sitting. I was sitting there for like 20 seconds. My eyes were closed. Everything was black. I woke up. I looked down. My dick out. <laughs> um, I woke up. Uh, I get up. I'm like, I gotta go lay down. And I'm climbing up the stairs. Back, back upstairs. I go into. I go into the. Um, kitchen um because right when you get out of the basement there's there's the stairs and then you have a kitchen that you enter after you open the door upstairs i i fall i land straight on my head and i turn the eye on on the stove uh as i fall i call up my mom i say hey i just fell on the floor um i just passed out uh in the bathroom i don't know what's going on yeah, she still won't take me to a hospital. I, I don't know why she didn't. Um, but I fell to the floor. I don't, I don't know why she didn't. Maybe she thought I was fine. I, I don't know. Maybe she thought, oh, you're just dehydrated or whatever. I don't know. I mean, she knew I was struggling. Um, but, uh... She, uh... I love that woman. You know what I mean? I, lo I, lo I love my mom. I love my mom to death. She always thinks like she's such a bad mom for not raising me when I was a child, but that woman has done so much for me that I can't even explain. Um, I will never, ever, 
have a bad word to say about my mom. And every time me and my mom get in an argument, I tell her I love her. Um, and she'll tell me that I don't. But <laughs> uh, every time she's mad at me, I will always tell her I love her. Because I don't want the last thing I say to my mom is, I hate you. Um, I will always tell I will always tell my mom I love her. Uh, no matter how mad she gets at me or no matter how mad I get at her, I will always remind her I love her. And even if she says I don't, I don't care because she doesn't define she doesn't I tell her all the time you don't define how I feel <laughs> you don't um but November 2022 um this was the month I finally go to the hospital in uh Paducah uh but before that uh about an hour before I go to the hospital I am in my room. I've slept all day. I wake up and I and like I haven't ate and shit and I am delusional as fuck, okay? I wake up where I'm stand where I'm sitting right now is where my bed used to be. I know y'all see my bed in the background, but my bed used to be on this wall right here. This wall. Okay? Basically, it wasn't on the wall. It was pushed up against the wall if you know what I mean um basically I think that um my stepdad is getting involved with the cops for some reason as soon as I wake up I'm delusional as fuck okay just remember remember that I'm delusional as fuck okay I'm delusional as fuck alright basically I think the cops are here right um I uh I uh, hear, I hear the cops searching through every room in the house. Reminder: the cops are not here. The cops are not here. I'm delusional. I'm I'm delusional as fuck, and I think the cops are here for some reason. And I pretend like I hear a something fall in front of in front of my door. I something big fall in front of my door. You know, and like. I'm sitting there and I'm like am I okay I yell out am I okay and I'm just sitting here like screaming on the top of my lungs I sound like I sound like a girl because I haven't drank or ate anything because my voice was like I lost my voice like I sound like a chick you know what I mean um my voice was terrible it hurt to talk my vo- my my throat was so dry. It hurt to talk. It literally hurt talking. And um I'm just like I'm just like fuck you, stepdad, and I'm just like I'm just like always getting in trouble with the law. Like he doesn't normally get in trouble with the law, but I thought he got in trouble with the law. The law weren't the law wasn't even there. The law wasn't even there. For some reason, I think the fucking law is here. You know what I mean? And um I just start screaming and I'm like yeah, and um, and at the time, they were trying to get shoes for my stepsister, and like they were trying to get them from this guy that's really good with sneaker websites, and I, uh, that worked at uh, the same place my mom worked. I'm not gonna disclose where that is because of privacy reasons and stuff like that. And I start saying the guy's name, and I'm like, and then there's this wrestler from here that got me some shoes and I'm just like oh yeah and him too yada 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 I'm just saying random shit okay random shit coming out of my ass um my mom comes in the room uh my mom comes in the room she starts clothing me and for some reason I'm just like what the fuck is going on um I get in I get in the car. It took me a while to get in the car because I was still walking very funny and I was still very dizzy and still out of my fucking mind. Um I get into the car. I'm just fucking Honestly, I think it's pretty funny cuz I was like I was just acting crazy. I I like I wasn't acting like 
homicidal or anything, but I was just acting crazy. For some reason, we parked in the we parked in the Hux, right? It's if you don't know what Hux is, it's a gas station. Okay, um, we park in the Hux. For some reason, I'm breathing into a fucking uh, Red Bull can in the car. I don't know why I'm breathing into this Red Bull can. Don't get me wrong. I don't know why I'm breathing into this Red Bull can. I feel like I'm losing oxygen and I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm breathing out of stuff to try to get oxygen and shit. And I'm just saying like random shit. I don't even remember what I was saying. But it was funny as fuck. Okay. I just remember it being funny as fuck. Okay. Uh, I get to the hospital. Hospital's about an hour away. It's a different hospital because this hospital in Murray cannot, um, it's, it's a pretty shitty fucking hospital. No, no offense. No offense to the Murray hospital. I've been there before. They helped me out, but with what was going on with me at the time, they couldn't help me. Okay. Um, basically when I get into the hospital, I've never even told my mom this. So if she sees this video, then she'll know for the first time. I hear people, I'm delusional as fuck, so this, like, never happened. Keep that in mind. I hear people um, saying that they've been buried in the ground since 1963. <laughs> and I hear people saying that um, that it's 2075. I, I don't know why. I, I literally don't know why, okay? I have no idea why I think this, okay? But they kept asking me my birthday, and I remember that it was December 7, 2003, okay? And for some reason, I'm sitting, waiting for a bed in the hospital, arms crossed, and I'm spitting on myself. I'm spitting on my shirt. I was wearing a hoodie at the time, but I'm spitting on my hoodie. And I remember they were trying to get a piss test out of me, and I told them, I'm not taking this piss test. I'm like, no, I've been 10 months sober. I'm not taking a piss test. And I'm moving my finger like this for some reason. I, I don't even know. And, like, I'm sitting in the chair waiting for a bed. And I'm saying, my name is Shane Roach. I was born December 7th, 2003. And I was doing this for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why, people. I don't. I, I honestly don't know why. I can't tell you. Actually, I can tell you. It's because I was delusional as fuck. <laughs> That's why. But, um, I'm sitting here after saying December 7th, 2003 for, like, multiple times. Um... I hear people talking about 2075 for some reason in my head. I, I'm, I hear people talking about 2075. I, I honestly don't know why, but I do. Anyways, where was I? Okay, I got into the, I got into the hospital bed. Um, when they asked me my birthday, I say December 7th, and I pause for a second, and I say 2075, and they instantly get me up right they instantly get me up they sit me they they take they take my clothes off they put me in scrubs and they get me in the hospital bed right so i'm in the hospital bed thought about a minute later my mom comes out of nowhere and i don't know if she said this or not i, I have no idea or, or if i was just being delusional but, um, she tells me, she tells me, hey, buddy, they're telling me that you're dying. She may have said that, or she may have not. Reminder, I am delusional as fuck, so I have no idea what's going on. And I'm, like, looking at my mom, and I'm, like, is it still 2022? She's like, yeah, 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 Shane. It's it, it's 2022. I'm like, okay, okay, good. I'm smiling. I'm like, okay, good. Um, and then I say, was I born on December 7th, 2003? And she was like, yep, yeah, you were. And I'm like, okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm like, and um, then my aunt came to the hospital. And, uh, she, uh, I don't know if this happened or not. I have no idea if this happened. Reminder, I am delusional as fuck. 
Okay. For some reason, my aunt is trying to fight me. Now, I don't know if this happened or not. Now, I don't know if this was reality or if I was being delusional or whatever, okay? I have no fucking idea what is going on, okay? So, I'm thinking to myself, why is my aunt trying to fight me? I haven't even said anything in this hospital bed. I don't know why she's mad. I have no idea, right? Basically, they're taking... Um, pictures of I think it was my brain um, I don't know uh, they put me in a little spin cycle looking thing I don't know what it was for um, I, I forget um, basically I'm so delusional and all that I think my uncle is in the uh, the uh, hospital as as my doctor and um for some reason my stepdad's trying to fight me now i don't know if, i don't know if he was trying to fight me or not i'm delu i'm reminder i'm delusional as fuck okay i'm delusional as shit in this hospital and he and like i look at my stepdad and he's balling his fist up and he's saying, you think I look like Humongousaur off of Benton? <laughs> I never said that. But for some reason, uh, the doctor said that in my mind. I don't, I don't think he actually said it. Okay. But I, I don't know. I was out of my mind. I haven't ate. I haven't showered. I haven't drank. I haven't done anything. Okay. And I'm like out of my fucking element I'm out of my mind um and uh I just remember I just remember um getting into a room in the hospital and I feel like there's electric wire I can see electric wires and I'm th which I don't even think they were actually there I see these green blue and red electrical wires and I while I'm laying in the bed I, and they're like moving by themselves I don't know I don't know I, I honestly don't know and I think that they're gonna shock me I'm like delusional shit and my mom's in the hospital in the hospital room with me and she said I don't know if he's gonna die or not I don't I, I, I don't know what's going on if he dies he dies I, I, I don't even know if she said that I I, I I'm delusional as shit, so I'm just thinking things. Um, I'm out of reality. You know what I mean? Uh, excuse me. But, um, I'm out of my mind, right? I remember waking up, right? I, I remember waking up, and it's the second day in the hospital. I have this uh, nurse that is sit that is sitting for me. And, um, for some reason, I feel a little bit better, you know? I haven't, I, I still haven't ate or anything like that. I, I still haven't ate. I haven't, I haven't done much, okay? Second day in the hospital, right? I got into the hospital, I believe it was November 19th, uh, 2022, was the day I got admitted into the hospital. Um, um... Uh, Basically, um, I'm trying to think. There's this nurse sitting for me, and for some reason, I see two little windows with two rats or mice in them. I don't, I don't even know if they were there. Reminder: I'm still delusional as shit. Okay. Second day in the hospital, I wake up right. For some reason, I think there's uh, two rats right there. They're, they they may have been there. They may have not. It's like two little windows, um, and I see rats. I don't know why I see rats. You know what I mean? I I have no idea why I see rats, but I do. And um, basically, um.
I think to myself, what is going on? And then, out of nowhere, for some reason, I'm delusional as shit. I'm in the hospital, and I think that there are skunk on the fucking floor. <laughs> I think there's skunk on the fucking floor. Um, and they are attacking the person that is sitting me. And then out of nowhere, my pastor from my church, his name's Randy, he comes in the room and he's like, I work here. And I don't even think he works here. I'm, I'm delusional as shit still. Uh, for some reason, I think he works at the hospital. I've seen him in the hospital, you know what I mean? Um, third, third day in the hospital, barely even remember it. Um, I'm out of my, oh, I do remember it. Basically... For some reason, I'm in the hospital. I'm I'm in the hospital, right? My doctor, his name's Doctor Owsley. He kept, he comes in, right? And I'm still delusional, shit. So I don't even know if he said this, but for some reason, he uh, keeps on saying "fuck you." <laughs> it's so funny because he's like Russian and he says it with a Russian accent, and he's just like "fuck you." And my mom is like, "It sounds like it sounds like you're saying fuck you to me." <laughs> I'm like, "No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is." fuck you, <laughs> he just keeps saying fuck you again, and, um, for some reason, I'm delusional shit, I don't even think he said fuck you, I don't, I, I don't even think he, he said that, I, I think I'm just out of my fucking mind, um, and, um, for some reason, uh, he says, reminder, I don't think he actually said this, but he said, Shane has died, and my mom's, like, crying, she's like, okay, um, and like I'm, I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, I have like this little uh, gum wrapper, this little aluminum gum wrapper. I'm playing with it, right? I'm playing with it, playing with this gum wrapper. And I'm sitting there, eyes wide open. And he's telling me that I'm dead. And I'm like, I'm just sitting here, like, no, I'm not. But I can't move for some reason. I, I don't know why, but I'm not moving. I'm just stand, I'm just staying still, playing with this aluminum wrapper, and like. He just, he just tells me that I, 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 I'm dead. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. I didn't say that because I, because I was just standing still. I was just like this. That's all I was doing. Right. He tells me that I'm dead. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> um... But for some reason, I thought I was dead. All right. Fast forward. Fourth day in the hospital, right? Um, for some reason, I am thinking that I'm playing some game in the hospital where I'm attached to wires. And like, um, for some reason, uh, I called. I called it the conjunction game why did I call it the conjunction game I have no fucking clue why I called it the con conjunction game but anyways um uh for some reason I feel like there's things on me under under my scrubs that are building like little blocks, like little air blocks on my on my scrubs, and I, for some reason, I'm delusional as shit, and I think that they're like little apartments. And then I wake up, and I go back to sleep, and I wake up, and I go back to sleep, and for some reason, it's like, and for some reason, it's like, um, one day, I can see a, uh, a light and it's all black and there's like a little light in the dark corner kind of like a sun and then um I, I start hearing like Domino's commercials for some reason I don't know why and then I hear my brother uh coming into the room and apparently he's dropping off food or whatever um I'm looking down at my scrubs like I, I can't see my brother but for some reason I hear his voice and I'm like that's my brother and I'm sitting there, I'm looking down, and I'm 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 wondering to myself, like, what the fuck is going on? And then for some reason I gain my sight back. 
uh, because I didn't have my sight, apparently. I I'm delusional as shit, okay? I'm delusional as shit, okay? So, I gained my sight back, right? Whatever. Um, I, uh... I gain almost everything back. And for some reason, I'm walking in the hall of the hospital. I, I don't even think I was walking in the hall in the hospital. I think it was all in my mind. I think it was all made up. Um, I don't know why, but I'm, wa I'm walking in the hall in the hospital. Everything is green. But it's not like, it's not like a very green green, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a grayish green, if that makes any sense. It's like a grayish green, right? For some reason, I am absolutely out of my mind. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on. I have no idea. Uh, fifth day in the hospital, right? I, I stayed there for a total of nine days, I believe. Fifth day in the hospital. Um, basically, I am... Uh, Um, my pastor's son, who I know very well and I love to death, um, basically, he comes in, he said, hey Shane, I heard you're not feeling that well, and, um, he told me, for some reason, I'm delu I'm still delusional as shit, I don't know why I'm still delusional as shit, but I'm still delusional as shit. And for some reason, right, I am thinking to myself, what the... He told me somebody died today. And for some reason, I thought my pastor Randy died that day. I don't know why, but I thought that he died. I was delusional as shit. I thought that he died that day. I have no idea why. And um, basically, they're taking this cast off of my arm I don't even think I had a cast on my arm I'm still delusional shit right they take this cast off my arm I'm bleeding I see dogs on the ground for some reason I don't even think the dogs were there okay but for some reason I see like these little mini chihuahuas on the ground <laughs> and um, they're ripping my clothes off and I'm like oh my god I know who died and I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking that my pastor Randy died I, I don't know why but I'm thinking that my pastor Randy has died I have no idea why I think that my pastor died. But, basically, what happens is I go into the bathroom in my hospital room and I take a shower. And basically, I can't even stand. And, um, basically, my pastor's son uh, is helping me with this shower. Um, which y'all might think, oh my god, that's fucking gay. What? What the fuck ever, dude? I couldn't even take a shower upon myself. That's how fucking that's how fucking miserable I was. I couldn't take a fucking shower, okay? So y'all can think what the fuck y'all want, you know? Whatever. <laughs> but um he helped me take a shower, right? I get out. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go home. Cause everybody's like, You get to go home, buddy. It's over. <laughs> and um for some reason I get put back in scrubs. New scrubs, right? And I'm like, I'm not going home. And for some reason, they say the world is your oyster. Uh, you're, you're a duck. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. They said something about a duck, okay? They may have not even said something about a duck. I'm delusional as fuck, right? So I'm walking out of my hospital room, and I'm doing this. <laughs> pretending to be a duck. <laughs> That's how fucking stupid I am. I pretended to be a fucking duck, okay? I pretended to be a fucking duck, right? And, um, I'm sitting here, and, uh, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So, they tell me, your mom's not going home today. And my mom's like, bye, buddy. So, I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? And, uh, I'm like, well, I'm not going home then. I walk, I walk back to my hospital bed and I lay there. And they're I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh. What is going on? <laughs> and I don't even know what's going on, to be honest with you. 
I have no idea. Um, and basically, sixth day in the hospital, I feel like ten times better. I'm less delusional. Um, and uh, a professional wrestler comes and visit me, visits me in the hospital. His name was Ty Blade. I have known Ty Blade since I was 10 years old, and he used to wrestle in Hardin, Kentucky for old school wrestling, and I used to go there with my dad. And uh, Ty Blade was my favorite wrestler. And, like, I don't even know if he remembered me or not. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But uh, he brought two championships in the hospital. And I'm like, can I have it? And he's like, yeah, buddy, that's yours. That's what he said to me. He said, yeah, buddy, that's yours. The next night, he comes and takes it. <laughs> but, but he let me have it for tonight, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, basically, uh, he gives me a jacket that I used to be able to wear, but then I gained all my weight back, and then I couldn't wear it. It didn't even fit me. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, shit, what was I going to say? Motherfucker. Um, he gives he gives me the jacket. He gives me the belt for the night. And I'm like, yeah, this is cool. And then the next day he comes and he gets me Chick-fil-A. <laughs> like, and Murray has a Chick-fil-A, but it's on Murray State Campus. So, like, it's not like a restaurant. So, like, I never get to have Chick-fil-A. And I'm, like, so excited I get to have Chick-fil-A. I'm smiling. I'm in a better mood. My mom's taking pictures of me. Um, and, uh, I'm just, I'm just happy, you know what I mean? I'm happy that I feel better. I'm happy that my life is back on track, you know what I mean? I, I'm, 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 I'm so ecstatic, right? So then, right, uh, seventh day in the hospital, um, my brother gives me 60 bucks for my birthday, because my birthday's coming up, and, um, I remember, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit before we, my birthday is December 7th. I got out of the hospital before December 7th. I don't, I don't know what day I got out of the hospital, but I got out of the hospital. Basically, right? Um, what, what was I going to say? My brother gave me 60 bucks. Um, seventh day in the hospital. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what I was, what, what was going to say. Basically... My mom has this mattress in the hospital. They, they got her a mattress, right? And uh, she, stay, she stayed with me every night. I was in the hospital. She stayed with me every night, right? And um, I'm sitting here. I'm like, I'm about to finally get out of here. And there's this Indian doctor. And I'm not fucking racist, okay? I, no means am I racist, but this guy was funny as shit. And um, he told me, did you have bowel movement today? And I'm like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what the fuck is a bowel movement? And he's like, did you poo-poo? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I pooped. And he's like, okay, you're going to get discharged on Monday. I'm like, all right, great, cool, awesome. Um, So... Uh, eighth day in the hospital. I spent a total of nine days. Eighth day in the hospital was uh, pretty fucking great. I ate something. I think it was pizza. And uh, I think uh, Survivor Series was on. And, uh, WWE Survivor Series. And I was watching Survivor Series. And um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't watch all of it. I passed out. Uh, but um, yeah. Ninth day in the hospital, my last day. I think I'm delusional because um, I remember getting up out of my hospital bed, right? I remember getting up and uh, I remember uh, trying to leave before they gave me my discharge papers. And they were like, Can I? They're like, Can I help you? I'm like, Yeah, I'm just trying to leave. And they're like, Okay, you're going to be able to leave once we get your discharge papers worked out for you. And I'm like, oh, Fuck. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. And uh, about, I'd say 30 to 45 minutes later, they come and give me my discharge paper. But before they come give me my discharge paper, um, for some reason, I'm worried about the mess inside of my hospital room. There's a bunch of shit there. 
and I'm telling my stepdad, my stepdad's there because my mom left, okay, my mom left, she's like, I'll see you when you get home, and I'm like, okay, <clears throat> and she, uh, my stepdad, I tell him, like, we have to clean this up, and for some reason, I don't even know if this happened or not, I, I have no fucking idea, for some reason, he's picking up shit, and he's throwing it around, and he's fucking angry, I, I, I don't even think this happened, Okay, I, I just think it was all made up in my mind. Uh, he's picking up shit, and he's throwing it, and whatnot. Um, and I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I just asked you to pick it up, because we can't just leave it here. And um, I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, out of my fucking mind. Uh, out of sight, out of mind. And then, about 30, 45 minutes later, like I said... They come and give me my discharge papers. I'm being carried out in a wheelchair. Um, which, if you've ever been discharged from a hospital, they normally carry you out in a wheelchair, you know? Uh, I go down the elevator. I get in the car. He's like, my stepdad's like, you're finally out of there, buddy. And I'm smiling. I got this big-ass smile on my face because I see outside for the first time in nine days. Like, I'm, I've been in the hospital for nine days. I see the streets. I see everything, and I'm like, I'm fine. I'm, I have this big ass smile on my face because I just got out of the hospital, right? And I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, this is the best day ever. And I remember when I got home, I felt so special. I felt loved because I was seeking love from Kay. I was seeking love from her. And I didn't realize how many people that loved me. And I was sitting there. And I felt love for the first time in my life. In a long time. And. I feel loved. By my mom. Up a stepdad by everybody. I feel loved. You know what I mean? And uh I feel like my life finally has a purpose. I felt like it didn't have a purpose. I felt like shit. For the longest time. I felt like shit. I felt like I was worthless. I felt like I was a piece of shit because that's what Kay's friends were telling me. And everything and my life was crumbling down. I lost I lost who I thought was the love of my life. I lost I lost a lot. I lost a lot of um, moments in my life. And, um. <sighs> fuck. And, um. Uh, for the first time in my life, I felt so much love from everybody. And I was back to my regular self. Which I missed. I missed so badly being myself. And, um, I find hope again in life. And I'm happy. I'm so happy. I feel like the happiest guy in the world. And, um, uh, nowadays, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to live the life that I live today. I'm grateful for the life that I live today. And, um, I, I feel like I have accomplished so much in my life. And I'm sitting there. In my living room. For the first time in nine days. I listened to music for the first time. In a, in a long time. I'm talking about a long time. My life was boring. When I was when I was not eating and whenever I was sick, I would, I would, I would just sit in my room. I wouldn't do shit. I, I'd get on my phone. I'd scroll on TikTok and whatnot. But I wouldn't do shit, okay? Um...
I'm sitting in my living room. I'm listening to music for the first time. I think the first song I played was a song by Selfago, and I'm turned. I'm turned as shit. And I remember I was sitting. I was sitting on the couch, um, and this was like a couple days before my birthday party. I, I was sitting on the couch, a couple a couple days before my birthday party, right? And I tell my mom, like, um, I tell my mom that my dad sexually assaulted me. For the first time, I it was the first time I ever told anyone. Four years after it happened, I'm 19, right? I just turned 19. I tell her that it happened first time I told anybody about this and um, I felt relief because I was holding that in for four years and um, it was hard it was hard for me to um, tell my mom that it was hard for me to tell anybody that um And I did it. <clears throat> and um, I remember my birthday party happening. And I'm having... Bro, I have so much anxiety at my birthday party. Because I feel as if my dad is going to come to my birthday party. And I'm scared that my dad is going to come to my birthday party. But he didn't. But that whole night, all I was thinking like, my dad is going to come here. My dad is going to come here. And I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm like, I'm not even like interacting with people at my party. I'm sitting, staring at the ground, and I'm eating pizza, because it was like a pizza party at my birthday party, and um, for some reason, I'm just out of my mind. For some reason, I just think my dad's going to come. He didn't come, but his mom come, my grandma, my grandma came, and um, for some reason, I just think that he's going to come, and I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. I'm like, he's going to come. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of shit. And, um, I just realized that everybody, everybody was there. My sister was there. Um, my cousins, uh, a couple of people I know in recovery. Um, a lot of people came to my birthday party. I was very happy. I was very happy. A lot of people came to my birthday party. Ty Blade came to my birthday party. He got me a pair of Crocs with fur in them and he got me a $50, um, uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors gift card. Now I don't go to Academy Sports and Outdoors. So what did I do with it? I bought my, I bought my, my mom and my stepdad matching sweaters. And when I bought the matching sweaters, I got them a large. I got them an extra large actually. Got them an extra large. But it was in kids. <laughs> I try to do something nice for my mom and my stepdad for Christmas. And I got them kid sizes. I'm just like, what the fuck? I am just like, what the fuck? Okay. So. Anyway. That is my story. That was my story about the hospital. That was the story about my relationship. That was a story about how I completely lost it. And if you relate in any way, and if you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, and you feel like you are going to end it, I get it. <laughs> I get it more than a lot of people. I get I really get what it feels like. And there's a lot of people that are like, yeah, I'm here for you. I know what you're going through. And they don't. I do. I've experienced it. I just explained it to you. If you made it all the way to this video, I explained it to you. I explained my story. Don't let your story be like mine because if I talk to somebody if I just if I just vented if I just let go all of this all of the not eating to 
not doing anything to losing my absolute fucking mind could have been stopped. I could have changed my life around if I just talked to somebody. But I was too upset, too depressed, too narcissistic to talk to anybody. Now I live a life beyond my wildest dreams. I wake up every day. I thank God. And I'm and I'm grateful for another day on this earth because I was so close to not having one. If you enjoyed this video, share it with somebody that you that you love. Someone that's going through it. Someone that doesn't feel like they can do life anymore. Someone that doesn't think that they matter. Someone that you know is struggling. And let them know that they are loved. And let them know they matter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. PWE episode will be out um, this Friday. So, hope you enjoy that. This is the only time I'm going to make content like this. Unless this video like blows up. And y'all want to see more uh, stuff like this. But, um, make sure to like, comment, share to a friend that's probably going through the same situation or has been through the same situation and got out of it like I did. Um, you're not alone. You may think you are, but trust me, you're not alone. There are people every single day. That go through the same shit that you do. I want to let you know I love you. I want to let you know you matter. I want to let you know I'm proud of you. I want to let you know. You have not let anybody down. You have not fucked up your life. You have not. You have not. Uh. gave it everything because you still have more to give and if you're in a position right now where you're not eating you're not sleeping right you're not taking care of yourself I just explained to you my experience of that do you really want to go through that do you really want to just feel miserable feel insane probably not get help today it's never too late to ask for help and it's not embarrassing to ask for help when you feel like you're at your lowest it is it is it is never embarrassing it is never humiliating and it is never weak to ask somebody for help Remember that. If there's anything you learn from this video, let it be this. It is not embarrassing, humiliating, or weak to ask for help. Everybody needs help in life. Not everybody has it figured out. I don't even have it figured out. I just want to let you know you matter. Everybody matters. That's that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys on PWE. Pro Wrestling Entertainment. WWE 2K Universe mode. Take care. I love you all.